Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Adam here with Retro Repairs and time for a mail day video, let's call it. Um, so as you can see, I've got in front of me a backpack. Now, this backpack was actually sent to me on a plane. Um, so it's from a community that's um, inaccessible by road. So the only way they get in is flying. And the only way or the best way to ship stuff is through the airliner that goes there. It's a regional airliner. So um, sent this on a plane and get, left my name and a phone number and they called me to come pick it up. So here we have it. Um, they, at least it looks like zip tied it together a bit so that I can't really get into it. Although I could break the zipper pretty easy. There we go. So show you what we got here. Just bubble wrap. So that backpack is probably safe to throw in the garbage. And as you can see right here, we've got um, basically a lot of N64 stuff with a couple Super Nintendo controllers. So I really don't care about these controllers. Uh, that one looks great. That's super. But um, more interested in this. So let's uh, open her up one by one, see what we've got here. So I paid $125 Canadian for this whole lot and start right off with a mystery cartridge. Turok, Bio Freaks, GoldenEye, Wave Racer, Bomberman 64, Body Harvest, Diddy Kong Racing, another Bomberman 64, Army Men Combat, Doom 64, another Mystery Cartridge, WrestleMania 2000, um, Another green cartridge, so possibly another army man or something like that anyways. Tetrisphere. Mario Party. F-Zero X. And lastly, Mario Kart 64. So, um, all in all, not a bad little haul for $125. Um... What I'm going to do here, we're going to test them all, make sure they work. They're probably going to need to be cleaned. So this is probably going to just turn into a cleaning video. But um, I want to see what these no-name ones are. So I think we're going to start with that right now. All right, so I'm going to look at some of these uh, mystery cartridges here. Just going to give them a quick wipe down on the pins. Just to give them the best chance at working. So for this, I'm just using isopropyl alcohol. 99% stuff, it's best that, uh, really the best cheap option to do this. And just scrub them down. So, that comes out a little bit dirty, but not horrible. So, hopefully this will work not too bad. Kind of dirty. All right, and let's give her a try. Power on. And first one seems to work, so let's see what we've got here. Battle tanks, so First green one I had was Army Men Air Combat. This is Battle Tanks Assault. So, cool. Nice at least that I got some variety here. Um, obviously, missing a label. So, this looks like something I'm going to have to try get a replica label for. So, you can buy reproduction labels on eBay for a few bucks. You can print them out yourself. Um, haven't decided yet how I want to proceed with that one. But moving on to the next one. All right, so <clears throat> cartridge number two. This one has lost both labels. And it's interesting that they are, uh, they're completely gone. It's not like they're mostly ripped. Uh, so someone made a concentrated effort to actually remove that. You can actually see scrape marks on the back here. Yeah, we can pick that up on camera. So 
someone went out of their way to take that label off, which, I mean, it's not a huge deal as long as that label was actually damaged. So I'm curious whether these got moisture damage or what the deal could be here. Let's see what the pins tell us. Eh, not terrible. A little dirty, but I've seen much, much worse. Backs are actually not half bad. What was that? So these shielding might be a little corroded. Yeah, so I'm, see that brown there? My guess is the RF shielding got rusted. Oh yeah, I can see it a little bit. Let's see if we can... The shielding on this side here, it's... Yeah, it's tough to see, but... Maybe uh, we'll open that one up a little later, check it out, but let's see if it works. Perfect Dark. Nice. Perfect Dark's a solid game, that's for sure, so... Um, I'm going to have to, once again, get a label made for this guy, but, uh, happy with that find. Oh, there we go. Yeah, looks like it works all right. So, um, going to have to clean that out, uh, check it out, make, maybe replace the shielding on it, depending on how bad it is, but mystery game works. Now, time for the third mystery game. So, once again... Label's pretty gone on this one, but not completely removed. The front is completely gone. Someone carved a little P right there into there. So who knows what that means? Maybe that was a guy's name or maybe it's a game that starts with P. But uh, let's give her a bit of a clean, see what we've got. So kind of dirty still. Most of that black stuff... It's just oxidation, um, so you can get it cleaned off with some alcohol. Uh, pencil eraser works very well for this. It actually kind of acts like really, really fine sandpaper almost, um, and it kind of just, it really does a good job of grabbing that stuff and taking it right off. All right, let's see what we've got. Duke Nukem 64. Uh, did I have that one? Or is it Doom 64? Yeah, Doom 64. So, Duke Nukem. Not bad. Cool. And again, looks like it works just fine. So, not a bad haul, like I had said before. I think for 125 bucks, that's Canadian too. So, um, for 18 cartridges, that's under $10 a game. That's pretty good, I think. Uh, so I think we're going to clean up the rest of these. Some of them, like Bomberman, for example. I'm going to show you how to try and get a permanent marker off here. As you can see, someone tried cleaning that a bit. You can see by the smudges here. Uh, but let's see if we can't tidy that up better. This one came from Blockbuster once upon a time. You can just barely make out the block there. Dundas slash Keel. Who knows? Some of these other ones, Turok, so looks like they've written on it, so it's never going to be in perfect condition, but we'll see if we can't, yeah, ripped. See if we can't tidy these up a bit, make them look better. Um, you can also buy reproduction back labels as well. I'm not going to go about doing that. I don't really personally care too much. These aren't games that are crazy valuable. Um, I'm just mostly going to keep them for me anyways, so they really had a vendetta against these back labels. Every single one of them looks to be ripped, except for Bomberman. This is Mario Party, ripped. Wave Racer, ripped. Body Harvest, ripped. F-Zero X, oh. Oh, it's a little ripped. WrestleMania ripped on the front. What do you think on the back?
Not ripped. Cool. Mario Kart. Definitely ripped. Yep. Doom 64. Not bad shape. Someone scraped the crap out of it up here, though, but whatever. Army Men Air Combat. Not terrible. A little bit of a rip. And Tetrisphere. Not horrible, but again, that one's got a bit of a rattle. So um, I think we're going to have to get into opening these up, clean them out a bit. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to go through a couple of them that are in rough shape with marker, and the rest of them I'll just try and speed through, give you an idea of how these look. All right, so the first one I want to take a look at here is this copy of Bomberman. Um, so Bomberman 64, the label's a little worn, so it's got some wear on it. It's not ripped, which is good. Um, the back of it got some marker on it. It's got the sticker, um, some marker on the side. So overall, this just needs to be cleaned up. So let's open her up. Let's see what it is that we're actually going to be looking at here. All right, so first thing I notice is this shell's actually broken. So the little tab that holds that in place snapped off. My guess is previous owner of this just tried ripping this apart and it broke. I don't really see any other way that that could happen. Um, it's not a huge deal, but um, unfortunate all the same. But let's go a little further, take this um, shielding off, see what we've got. Okay, so here's the board. As you can see, these uh, contacts are pretty dirty. Uh, so what I'm going to do, let's give this a good uh, wipe down first, just with some alcohol. So I've got some isopropyl alcohol in a spray bottle here. I'm just going to spray down the bottom of this and just go to town with toothbrush. Okay, so just gave it a good general clean. It's okay to use a toothbrush on these chips and components. It's not going to hurt them. Um, if it did, then you've got other issues. Um, that means that there's some bad soldering jobs and these components were likely to fall off anyways. Um, but as you can see, that cleaned it up quite a bit. So it's looking a lot nicer now, uh, but it's still not quite perfect. So what I like to do for pins, just using a plain old white eraser, just going to scrub up and down with it, and it's just going to get any type of buildup off of these pins. So whether it be just oxidized plating or dirt, grime, grease, whatever it is, does a really good job of just cleaning those up and shining them up quite a bit. Okay, so that looks good. Um, you see how at the bottom here that uh, these are a little discolored? Um, that's just the way that's going to be, I think. Oh, we seem to be losing focus here. There we go. Just the way it's going to be. So this is just wear from being inserted and pulled out of a console time and time again. So um, you're not going to make that go away. That's just the plating's been worn down and you're exposing seeing scratches and stuff like that. 
Um, one last thing I like to do, just take a Q-tip, touch it up with some alcohol, just to get the little bits of eraser off. Um, that should come up white, so you see how there's no black or darkness or brown or anything on that Q-tip, so that means that we're pretty much clean. Perfect, so let's set that board aside and then turn our attention to the shell itself. So inside of the shell looks pretty good. Uh, maybe a little bit of a clean is necessary, but nothing crazy. Um, what I do want to focus on, however, is the outside. So I'm going to use some alcohol, just give it a rub down first. So again, being careful to avoid the sticker, but I just want to get any dirt and anything that'll come off easily off. Okay, so give it a little bit of a once over. Um, so as you can see, that marker's still there. Uh, I could go to town on this with the marker and maybe it would come up. Um, there's no guarantee of that whatsoever, but um, there is a trick that you can do to take off permanent marker. And I'm gonna try that right now. So what you need is a dry erase marker and get yourself some paper towels and some alcohol as well. So the idea behind this is the dry erase marker, you scribble over top of the markers, the marks here, and then you wipe it up right away. And it should reactivate some of this permanent marker, the chemicals in it, make it able to come up. So let's give it a try just actually on the back, just in case. We don't want anything uh, really bad to happen. Let's try with this 12. So I'm going to try it dry. So that means just the marker and then just a dry paper towel. See how that works. So I'm going to start on the top part of this too. And then wipe it away. And it may have worked a little bit. I can still see the two, but I think it is a bit better. I'm going to try the same process but using some alcohol to clean it up. So again, let's uh, actually, let's move it down the two now. Take care of that and then clean up with some alcohol. Got it. I guess you gotta be careful to keep it out of these uh, logos here. There we go. Oh, that's not too bad. Might have to do a couple passes on it, but uh, I'm going to keep going on this and see how it goes.
Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, if I really look hard, I can kind of make out the fact that there's a bit of uh, marker residue, but otherwise it's not too bad. So I'm gonna hit the rest of this here along the bottom and along the top, and I'll show you the end result. All right, so here's the shells after doing the, uh, the treatment with the dry erase marker, and it is better, but I'm not really super happy with it. It's still, you can still make out some of the marks, so I don't know, maybe that was the wrong kind of marker. Low odor, maybe, I don't know, maybe I need a more odorful or fragrant, we'll call it, marker. I don't know. I'll try a different one maybe on a different cartridge, but uh, it did help a little bit. Um, as you can see, it's not quite as noticeable. Um, I know it's there, so obviously I'm going to notice. It just looks like an old cart right now. So let's uh, let's reassemble it, give it a test, make sure that this works, and then I think I'm going to speed through a whole bunch of other cartridges. All right, so let's give her a test, just see, make sure this works. And first try, cool. Right on. So I don't have that particular cartridge, well I do now, but I didn't have this particular cartridge. So this one's, <clears throat> sorry, this one's gonna be one I think I'm gonna keep, uh, hang on to. Um, Time to speed round through these guys. So I'm going to speed up the video. Just going to clean them. That's it. Nothing's fancy. Um, I know some of you like uh, just straight up cleaning videos. So this will be an easy one.
All right, so now that we got these all cleaned up, um, time to test them. Uh, my goal is to have each of these work the very first try. So if it doesn't work the first try, we're gonna open her back up and try and clean it a little bit more. But uh, I'm gonna speed lapse through these ones and let's see how that goes. So they all work. Um, at first I was a little worried about Doom because when I look up at the TV, I can't see anything. Um, but all the other ones came through right. Well, you can, it's just super dim. Um, I thought it would be very weird if one cartridge had a brightness problem because it's not usually a sign of the cartridge not working, but um, really just exemplifies how crappy this little TV is. If I stand up better, you get much better viewing angle. You can see what you're doing. It's just a dark game doesn't come through well on my TV, but um, I mean, that works fine too. So all, what do we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16 of these work without a problem. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully some of you stuck around until the very end. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Be sure to leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video as well. And until next time, we'll, uh, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next video.